for some of this. FDA Deputy Director Douglas Throckmorton. For marijuana, three agencies are involved in making sure that you're available to get the marijuana and then able to conduct a trial. He's talking about the Food and Drug Administration, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the National Institute on Drug Abuse. And if you're a privately funded cannabis study, like Sisley and Doblin's, you also have to get the approval of the United States Public Health Service. It's a lot of government red tape. And it's an issue that we reported on in our earlier documentaries. Weed. It was a Schedule I controlled substance. The government was saying it had no medicinal value. We're being handcuffed by the government, preventing us from doing the right trials. That's from Weed 2, Cannabis Madness. Rick Doblin believes the right people were watching because just four days after that documentary aired, I got this letter saying that they had approved the study. It was fantastic. I mean, I was, I was elated. How big a deal was that? Some have called it a watershed moment in marijuana research. Yeah, I believe that. And not because of some reevaluation of the risks and benefits of marijuana. It was because of changes in public perception. For years, decades really, there's been hardly any United States research into the benefits of medical marijuana. On the contrary, most of the research focused on the harmful effects of the plant. Now nearly five decades after it was deemed illegal, we are seeing history unfolding. The beginnings of a marijuana revolution. FDA's official position is we want that drug studied. We want marijuana studied to decide its safety, its efficacy, its reliability, and we want to have that done as quickly as we possibly can. That's music to the ears of veterans like Sean Kernan, who had to be convinced that marijuana would be the right option for him. I talked to some people who weren't the stereotypical, you know, persons who smoke marijuana. They were highly successful, highly motivated people. He was once suicidal, but Sean now has hope. Hope that comes from this plant and from that new study which might prove its benefit once and for all. When we come back, first step, getting their hands on the precise strains of research-grade marijuana. It would prove harder than Sisley and Doblin could have imagined.